So I think the goal is just to have something to be able to help offset the cost, um, even though it, it won't be the full tuition because pretty soon we'll have both kids in school. So, but it'll still be a huge help because every little bit counts. Scripps a program that allows you to get gift cards to places that you shop and then a portion of the gift card cost will go back to the school and then from that portion that goes to the school part of it can be set aside towards someone's tuition or to assistance fund for students that need it. Each gift card that you purchase has a percentage that they will give back to the school. And it varies depending on the cards. Some cards are like 2%, some cards are 4%, some cards are 6%, or even up to 16 or 18%. Uh, you still pay the full value of the card. So if you buy a, a $10 gift card, you get the $10 gift card. It's just the, the program has made an arrangement with the school or the script program that they will refund a certain percentage back. It's a fundraising program essentially, so yeah, a portion goes back toward the school then. Half of it will go to the school in general, and then like 50% of that portion will go towards, if you want it to go towards a tuition for a student. The nice thing is that you can set it aside for a future student, like when Amanda's um, daughter was born. We didn't even know if she would be going to St. Matthews but we were able to set it aside for a future grandchild. We were able to pay for Ella's entire first year of um, 3K, and we paid for all of but maybe 100 bucks of her 4K. So we almost got two full years of tuition out of doing it since she was born. She started when she was four, so it was probably about four years that we'd been doing it. But the really nice thing is, is we've involved other family members. So my mom does it, and then my mother-in-law also does the gift cards that go towards the kids' tuition, and then uh, my aunt also does. So it's an awesome way, too, to involve family. You can involve them, and if they choose to do it, that money's gonna go right back to your kids' tuition, too. And I was very appreciative that my mom had gotten me to start. It's money that we'd be spending anyways. I'm gonna spend money on gas every month. I'm gonna spend money on groceries every month. Um, so I just buy the gift cards for the amount that I would be using for the month. And if you're a big purchaser from Amazon, Amazon's another place that you buy your e-gift card on Amazon and you load it up onto the website. It just takes um, pre-planning to get started with it, to plan ahead, to start having the cards available to you which I think was kind of my hesitation at first because she started it and then um, we weren't sure if we were going to have Ella go to St. Matthew's so I wasn't sure if we wanted to but it was kind of a, well how do I fit this into my budgeting now to make sure that I have these on hand when I want them. So we do, we just, I, every month I get gas cards, I get grocery cards. If I know we plan on going out to eat somewhere, I'll have those. And the nice thing is there's a handful of vendors that um, are reloadable now. So you don't have to wait for the gift card to come in. You can just reload it and then the money's instantly on there for you to use. Even if Ella and Porter weren't going to school, we would still be supporting Scrip and using Scrip to, because it helps support the school. So for us, it was supporting education, Christian education, because Christian education is just so valuable. Mm -hmm.